Oh, hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Exa, and today, well, we're not dusting. So for today's video, I'm going to be taking these fabulous feathers and turning them into a fluffy, feathery lamp for my living room. Now, I know a lot of people have done tutorials of using these fun um, ostrich feathers to make lamps, but most of the ones I've seen have used like a regular lampshade. And for my lamp, I'm actually going to be using one with a plastic frame. And we're going to be incorporating some styrofoam to help get the full shaping that we are looking for. So let's get started. So first things first, here is the lamp that I will be using. All right, so the main thing we're going to need is a ton of feathers. So I did get a bunch of ostrich feathers. I got 10 that are 14 to 16 inches long. I got 20 that are um, 10 to 12 inches long. Then I got another 20 that are 8 to 10 for the top. And I also ended up picking up some of these little um, goose feathers to go with it to help fill in the gaps. So for tools for this project, you're going to need a drill um, with a drill bit that's about the thickness of the feathers to go through the plastic. You will need your hot glue gun um, or some other kind of glue to help secure the feathers once you stick them through the plastic so they stay put. And then to create the top floof part, since this is an open bowl shaped lamp, I'm going to be using this um, foam round used for flower arrangements with some flower wire that I picked up from the dollar store to help make the top shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut um, some lengths of my wire to use for the armature. So once I have four of those, I'm going to move on to glue my two styrofoam pieces together to kind of build up um, more distance for the structure on the armature here. And once that's done, we can then go ahead and stab some holes and um, push our wires through. Um, we do want to add a little glue to help hold them in place there. And we're going to have um, four of them kind of across from each other in a cross shape. So that way it will be the most strong structure when we go to attach it onto the base part. So once those are all attached, we're going to drill some holes on our base. Um, to line up with the points of them so we can thread them through and kind of loop it over to hold it in place. So I'm just drilling some holes right near the top. Um, you don't want to be super close um, because then it might, you know, just kind of tear through. Um, but do make it pretty close and then just thread through like that on all four pieces. Please be careful when you're drilling and keep track of where your fingers are so you don't have for this process. Once you have those through, you can kind of loop them over to secure it in place and then cut off um, the extra bits that are hanging down on the inside. So the first thing we need to do to get started on the bowl is drill a whole bunch of holes for our feathers to go into. So I'm just making them all evenly spaced about an inch and a half apart. Um, I ended up with about five rows going vertically across it, and then just kind of continuing this pattern all the way around the whole bowl, um, so that way they're kind of evenly spaced and spread out around the entire thing. So here's kind of what that looks like when I'm done with it. And then you can go ahead and start sticking your feathers in once you've placed all of your holes. So you're going to thread each feather through um, and kind of pull it until the actual like feather fluffs sticking off of it are just touching the edge of the plastic bowl. And then you can help um, secure them on the inside by putting a little dab of hot glue on the inside edge of each feather to hold them in place. So I went row by row starting at the bottom and working my way up because that was the easiest um, method to not have to try to stick any feathers in between other ones that are already in place. So you can just continue to place each feather and glue them down on the inside until you have put a feather in every pre-drilled hole around the entire bowl.
And you can't assess and go back um, and decide if you want to add a few more feathers in between the gaps um, if they seem too far apart to you. So once you're done with the bowl part, you can go ahead and put feathers on your top piece. As you will notice, I did take them back apart again after I disassembled it just so it was easier to get my hands in there um, to glue down the feathers on the base part. So I'm just going to do this part separate as well and then I'll just stick the two halves back together again. So same system, I'm just putting feathers in until the little fluffy bits are sticking out and you don't see any of the extra um, main quill base sticking out. Add a little dab of glue to make sure that they're nice and secure and just continue all the way around um, the entire shape. back together again and you are almost done. is everywhere you see um, bits of the bowl sticking out and the little green um, foam armature. I'm just going to take some of these loose feathers that I got and glue them onto the side there just to kind of cover it up and camouflage it so everything looks like it's just solid feathers. So just like that you can stick those feathers on and continue that all the way around the whole lamp until you are satisfied that everything looks feathery and there isn't any wire or foam sticking out. Just look at it. It's just, oh, it's so warm and inviting and, and feathery and pretty. And it just, huh, I'm in love. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Even when it's turned off, and even when it's turned off, it looks so fun and inviting. Well guys, there you have it. Another fun DIY house project. This one was super easy, pretty quick. It only took me a couple hours to assemble this whole lamp together. And uh, I think it turned out really great if I do say so myself. So until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little notification button so you don't miss any of my exciting new upcoming videos. There will be lots of fun things in the future. So until next time, I hope your day and your house is as beautiful as you are.